I'm participating in the exciting study of Merkel cell carcinoma using immuno-oncology agents, in particular, in this case, Avelumab, an anti pdl one antibody. We've known for a long time that survival in Merkel cell carcinoma is closely linked to the immune status of patients. And if patients have infiltrating CD8 killer T lymphocytes entering into their tumor, they will often do very, very well. Based on that, we've looked at the feasibility of using anti-PD-L1 or PD-1 agents, and now today, happily, the first data in PD-L1 targeted therapy in patients who have previously received chemotherapy has come out, and I would say it's extremely positive. Broadly speaking, immuno-oncology agents work similarly in terms of the fraction of patients that they treat and the fraction that respond to chemotherapy. However, the striking difference is in the durability and to some extent the toxicity. In the first line, in an anti-PD-1 study, the rates were very similar again to chemotherapy, over 50% initially responding, but as compared to chemotherapy, the responders were typically durable. And that's exactly what we're now finding with anti-PD-L1 Avelumab therapy in the second and third line. The rates are about 30% with a nice response, and the vast majority of them are continuing to do very well over the duration of the study. Over 80% of the responders are remaining in response, and of course, we have to follow those longer, but many of them are out well beyond a year, and this is not a fluke. And in chemotherapy for Merkel cell carcinoma, in the second or third line, no one in our study has gone beyond one year, zero. So the fact that we've got about a third of patients really persisting for a long time with a response is extremely meaningful. And we have a ways to go, but these are very exciting days.